Yo, yo, yo. This is the pickle. Um, so today I was just chilling with my homies, you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. And I took a whole bunch of pictures and I was like using the photo, the in game camera. And I was like, and I'm this kind of guy, I like to be able to view my files on my computer in raw format. I don't like going through games. So, of course, I take my knowledge of how Rockstar works along other games. And I know that these have to be a local file. So, lo and behold, I go to my documents folder, because this is a very common place for games to save local cache data. And I see Rockstar Games is one of the options here under documents, so I'm like, okay. So I click on that. You have two options, Social Club or Red Dead Redemption 2. I originally went to Social Club. That is not where you go. The reason why I thought that is because it's a Social Club thing, but it's not related. That's just cache data. Don't go there. But if you go into Red Dead Redemption 2, Profiles, and then my profile, and then this right here, you see all these PR, and this is a JPEG because I was fucking around with it. Um, but all these PRDR files, these are your screenshots. All of these PRDR files, all the way down to profiles. So you see these PRDRs? These are all your photos. So I decided why not take this testing a bit farther. I went ahead, did some Googling, did some research, and I'm like, okay, I know how to do this. I, 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 I kind of understand. I mean, they want to test it. So I decided to pull them all over to a separate file folder that I will pull over for you guys. Um, yeah. So I... I'm having troubles. There we go. I think. Maybe. There we go. Now the reader wasn't letting me pull it over. So these are all, let me just start from scratch here so you guys understand what's going on here. So I'm going to delete all of these. And then we're going to go through PRDR, click the very bottom one, go to the top, click the hold shift down, click the top one. They're all there. Find your folder here that you want to dump them into. Drag them over and drop them in. You don't have to do this step. You don't have to copy them. I recommend it simply because they're not very big files. And it's just a safer way, I guess. In my mind, it's a safer way to ensure that you don't accidentally corrupt a file. This is how I'd recommend it. So now that you have all these files, you're saying, well, they're all file types. This is a JPEG. Ignore that. Okay, these are all file types. So you're probably wondering, what am I supposed to do with that? I double click it, it brings this all up. I can't open it with anything I own. What do I do? Ha have no fear. You want all these to be renamed to this JPEG file. So this is why the JPEG file is named JPEG. There's this nice little program called Irfan. Um, Irfan View, um, or is it Irfan? I really don't know. I just found it like 20 seconds ago. And if you go to open it, you want to go, if you say open, it's going to say it's not supported. But then if you hit, if you go down here to open with Irfan View 64 bit, bam, pops right open. And then you can go ahead and save it through here. So if you click this, it's a save as, you save it as a JPEG. It actually brings it back to an actual JPEG file that is viewable, no matter what program you have. Okay, that's cool. But now I have 200 files, 200 items, that need to be renamed. I will leave download links for Irfan and for um, my advanced renamer tool I use. They're both free. Both work amazing. So I went I went to advanced, um, advancedrenamer.com um, slash download. And I downloaded the version of it here. See in the background, I just downloaded the installer here. Um, and same with Airfan, I just downloaded my 64-bit. You can download 32-bit if that's what you have. It's 2019. I doubt you do. Um, but I downloaded this. It says buy now. This is just a if if you're doing like come like I don't know. It's just a way of donating. You don't really need to. I'm cheap. Anyways, we install the program. We open it up here. Um, so here you can see. I'm gonna clear this. So right here, there's this add button. Click this add button. Go to directories. Go to wherever you where you saved all those photos to. In this case, I saved mine to RDR2 photos. And I hit 
Okay. It's going to bring all of these photos up. All right. They're all going to check my thing. Go over here. Add method. And then go with... Where'd it go? Replace. I think. Or is it, I, I think... It, no, it's new name. Right here. And a new name. Put dot JPEG. And then, under apply to, make sure it's set to extensions. And then, you're going to see all of these files turned yellow. It wants to rename all of my files. That one doesn't because it's already a JPEG file. And then all you got to do, hit start batch. It's going to say items, 199, batch ones are replaced, method 1. And then you hit start. The extensions will be changed in some files. This can, in some cases, make the files unusable. We're going to hit yes because we already know that. I copied them over just in case something corrupts. Hit yes. It does that. It's done. That batch is run. Now, if I go over here and we go to RDR2, you can see this folder is now everything's in JPEG, which is cool. Now we can all open in this IRFAM program, but what good is that? Because now we have to save them all individually. Have no fear. I have a fix for that too. Go to File, and once you're in IRFAM View, go to File. Go down to Batch Conversion slash Rename. And then go to this. You want to make sure you set your directory. Look in RDR2 uh, Photos or whatever your file name is. And add all. It's going to add every photo there. Which in my case is 199 photos. And then my output folder. I use browse. I found it. I'm putting it in a process folder. It's a separate folder. I just want to make sure it's all neat and organized. I like my computer organized. And then up here it says batch conversion settings. Because we're doing this in a batch conversion. We're not renaming the files. We're just converting them. And then we're converting them all to a JPEG file. And that way, and if you wanted to hit rename, you can also hit rename too, and you can rename them all to an image pattern if it tickles your fancy. I personally don't care. Um, yeah, badge conversion name. So we could do that, and then we can hit this. I'm actually you might do it this way because I'm interested in how it works. I'm gonna go here. And down here it says start batch. Click this button. It's going to go through all this. It is renaming them all with that JPEG on the end. All right. And then we turn to batch. Go to your process folder, which I don't have currently open. It's going to go back to here. Processed. Oh, yeah. That's, that's actually really cool. I actually really recommend what I just did. And then image 199 right here. So you can now see if I just open them up. I can now scroll through my folders as I please, and I can now see the great times I have with my friends, and I no longer have to worry about Rockstar limiting my life and my quality of life just because they think they can, because we are not Windows. Thank you very much. This was The Pickle, signing out. Peace.